Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a project today for the My Creative Scrapbook Kit Club and I'm working with a March main kit today. I'm going to be creating a 12 by 12 layout using this gorgeous pink paisley bloom street paper number 23 and I just love this paper. I really love both sides so it was kind of a conundrum for me to choose but I decided to go with this floral and I'm going to use part of the paper for fussy cutting and part of it for my layout. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be working on a piece of cardstock here that I've already treated with this Art Basics transparent gesso. This is some basil smooth white cardstock that's fairly heavy and I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media work on this white cardstock. I'm going to be working with a little bit of uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals in this purple color. This is called Teapot Purple. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit, of it, little bit of it in my watercolor tray off to the right here of my workspace. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in one of those little um, areas and then I'll just mix in that uh, magical and that'll just then create kind of like a watercolor paint for me to work with that's just got some really beautiful pigment and I really love the purples that are part of this Bloom Street collection. I think it's so pretty and I, I just the color purple is one of my favorite colors so this to me is just absolutely beautiful and in the main kit you actually get quite a bit of the Bloom Street collection you get several or many I should say of the pages and you also get a pack of the die cuts and you also get a cardstock sticker set so if you're if you haven't watched my um, video of the unboxing of this main kit I will link it in the description box below so you can check that out if you would like to do that. Now what I've done here with my magicals is I'm just adding them with water onto my paper so I spritz some water onto my paper to start with and I'm using a, a brush just a paintbrush here from my stash to kind of direct where I want the color to go. And in that way, I can get my drips of paint or pigment going sort of pretty much exactly roughly where I want them to go rather than sort of wandering all over my page. So I had an idea of the design that I wanted to do here. I'm kind of wanting to create a the, the dripping of the watercolor down towards the bottom on the right side of the page. And then I am going to kind of keep my photographs more over to the second half or the right half of the page rather than the first half or the left left half. Now what I wanted to do next was add a little bit more white to the area where these purple drips are and so I'm just taking a little bit of acrylic paint from my stash. I'm watering it down and I'll add some splatters over top of that purple paint and it just uh, makes that those magicals react again and it also just adds a little bit of white over top of that purple and I, I just like that effect I think it looks cool now I'm going to add a few splatters here that are a little bit thicker and those are just going to kind of peek out from behind the embellishments that I do on this project you can see that I did put the box that my kit came in on my table just to prevent my splatters from kind of going all over my workspace area here. Now I just took that uh, Bloom Street paper and I'm just tearing it in half and I was thinking about maybe using a piece of blue paper in behind there but I just decided that that was too much of a contrast with the purple and then the floral paper. I wanted something that blended in a little bit more and was more subtle so I just grabbed a little strip of pink cardstock from my stash as well and I'm also going to map my two photos in that same color and these photos are printed at I believe three and a half by or about 3.7 by 2.7 and I just left a little white border around the outside edge of the photos. I'm going to pop them up on a little bit of um, craft foam and adhere them to that pink cardstock. Now I'm taking some of that same pink cardstock and I'm using one of the cut files that, that are part of this kit. This cut file is called, I believe, Floral Cluster. And there's actually eight different cut files that are part of this kit. So that is amazing. That's a lot of cut files to choose from. So if you like working with cut files like I do, 
that is just a dream and so I was pretty excited about that. I traced around the outside of that floral and now I'm just fussy cutting around those where those lines those pencil lines are that I've traced and then I'll just glue that cut file onto this cardstock so that the cardstock backs that and I really like that white on that really soft pink. I think it just looks really pretty and delicate and I'm not going to back the, the leaves at all. I'm just going to leave those open. Now I wanted my photos to pop a little bit more off of that really busy floral paper. So I just took a chunk of um, dark purple cardstock from my stash and I'm just going to mat my photos in that so that they just pop a little bit more off of that paper. I don't really know what's going on with my tape runner here, but anyways, um, just going to get that sorted out and then get this um, stuck down. I'm just going to leave a tiny, tiny little border of that purple cardstock around the outer edge of my photo here. And I like how this looks when it's all finished. And I'm just going to trim those up with my Tim Holtz trimmer and those will be ready to go. So now you can see how that distressed edge of both of those papers looks. And now what I wanted to do is take another piece of that pink cardstock. I wanted to, I just took a scallop punch from my stash and I uh, punched the edge of that paper. I also punched the edge of a chunk of vellum. And I'm just putting those over top of each other. I'm just overlaying the vellum over top of the cardstock. And I just wanted to break up that um, pattern paper a little bit at the top. Now, if you don't have any cardstock in your stash, you could also use one of the pattern papers from the kit. Uh, there's lots of the different pattern papers are kind of act as a solid and you could do that totally for sure. Um, I took the manufacturer strip off one of the other pattern papers from the kit and I'm going to overlay that over top of this vellum and cardstock strip at the top and I just really love this manufacturer strip. It's got a bunch of phrases on it and I thought that was just a, another good way to add a little bit of detail. It's really cool with this kit. There's a bunch of cut apart sheets and different papers that you could fussy cut and when you have cut aparts and sheets you can fussy cut, you actually end up with a whole bunch more embellishments and I love that. That is um, really great value. So now you can see that I've got that cut file all backed and I've got three of those same little floral cut files that I'm going to use as cluster pieces or bases on my project. Now I was thinking about adding one or two of these hummingbird die cuts from the Bloom Street die cut pack from the kit and I do end up adding one of the hummingbirds and I'm going to add it to the bottom left cluster that you'll see here in a minute. These are some of those florals that I fussy cut from that floral paper. Aren't they amazing? Like the little fussy cuts that you can get out of that floral paper are incredible. They're so delicate and pretty and you could use them on many different kinds of uh, layout designs or cards that you might want to create whatever. They're perfect embellishments for all kinds of different projects that you might want to work on. So I'm using lots of foam adhesive here on this layout to create some dimension. Some people don't like that. You might just want to add things flat and that's fine. But when I'm doing my layering, I want there to be some space between my layers and that's why I achieve that with foam adhesive. So here you can see I'm just working with more of the die cut pieces, like that piece at the bottom that says beautiful, that's from the Bloom Street die cut pack. And then I'm just taking some of the fussy cut florals from that uh, Bloom Street number 23 paper and adding them into the clusters as I go along. Now you can see I added that purple hummingbird to that bottom left cluster and I love that. And now I'm just taking one of the cardstock stickers that's also in the kit from the cardstock sticker sheets. I'm just adding a little bit of my anti-static powder to the back of it so that I can adhere it with some foam adhesive rather than with the sticky on the back of that sticker. And so I just added a little bit of foam on that and that's going to be my title. It's that really pretty shiny silver metallic and it says love and I just really like that. So this is uh, pictures of my daughter and her sister-in-law at her sister-in-law's wedding. Um, so this is the, the young gal getting married here is um, the gal that married Bailey's husband's brother and this is uh, their wedding and Bailey was a bridesmaid so this is just a couple of their photos and the, uh, the 
bridesmaid dresses were all in different tones of purple so this color or this color palette is just awesome now I'm going to take a couple more stickers from that cardstock sticker sheet and add those as embellished ones on either side of the photos and I after this I just add a little bit of a, another one of those hearts those cardstock sticker hearts to the bottom cluster there and that's going to be about it there's an obvious spot here to do journaling below those photos and I will add that in later oftentimes when I'm sharing things in social media I add my journaling after I don't always like to share that in social media so there's plenty of spots here where the um, journaling can be added thank you so much for stopping by today and make sure you check out the links in the description box below to all of the kits this month for my creative scrapbook the main kit and the other kits that are available I will link up to those I will also link to other products that I've used in this um, in this uh, video today thank you so much for stopping by I really appreciate it I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you back here another time on my channel bye bye